much of what's wrong with our current food system in a slice of white industrially produced bread. So how did we get here? The frontispiece of Eliza Acton's English Bread Book, published in 1857, has an engraving of sheaves of wheat garlanded with ribbons that read, Bread strengthens man's heart. The rise in popularity of white sliced bread was a consumer reaction to the national wheat meal loaf that everybody had to eat during the Second World War. Every person to eat. It should be human right to eat a bread made out of four ingredients. It suits the big millers, for instance, to take the most nutritious elements out of the grain. Uh, the, the lurian there, the germ and so on, particularly the wheat germ, because these are the elements that uh, go off the quickest. What's happening when you use ten of these things at a time in maybe in a loaf? And what happens when you add that to whatever turns up in all the other processed foods? There seems to be less of uh, an allergic reaction to uh, gluten if it was some types of sourdough bread. But I mean, I th unless and until you get rid of that, we, we see sourdough bread appearing on supermarket shelves, which we know has not been done by the sourdough process, by long fermentation, which is simply a mix out of a bag. So you know, for me, real bread, it's more than bread, it's everything. It's the dinner table, it's the bringing the family together. And I, I just think there is no comparison. And I think like, I think in a hundred years time, that sliced white loaf will be a mere blip in history. I really believe that. Wheat gluten is unique. Um, it's the only way you can make that particular texture of product, um, which is why um, none of the replacement breads um, are really satisfactory from the eating point of view, let alone what the label uh, contains. So I think bakers as a whole, including artisan bakers, maybe need to up their game a bit, both in terms of thinking about what's going on in the dough, maybe scientifically, also their ability to cope with changes it, so that we're not at the mercy of big millers who produce a totally homogenised and dead product in their flour. Produce the number of loaves we eat in, in this country from small independent bakeries would more than triple that. You're looking at something like 75,000 people, so basically you're creating more jobs per loaf as well as fantastic bread.